Hey guys, Vladimir here, and today we are going to design some gears. I thought I would do a quick gear tutorial after releasing my latest design course, Fusion 360 for 3D Printing Design Fidget Spinners. As I usually do, I posted the STL files from the course designs to Thingiverse, and they started to get a lot of attention, especially my geared spinner. It even got tweeted by Thingiverse. So I decided to do a little tutorial on designing gears with Fusion 360. Now in the course I go into a lot more detail and also go through six other spinner designs, each teaching new modeling techniques in Fusion 360. So check it out if you're looking to increase your Fusion 360 skills while creating some fun fidget spinner designs. You can find the course along with my other Fusion 360 courses at desktopmakes.com. Okay, let's design some gears. There are a few different ways you can model gears in Fusion 360, but I find the simplest way is simply to import it from McMaster Car. So to do that, we'll go to Insert, Insert McMaster Car Component, and we'll get our McMaster Car Catalog. I'll just type gears into the search box and then select gears. Uh, that will present us with a window of all sorts of different varieties of gears. So I'll go ahead and just choose this plastic gear here. And then we get another window where we get an overwhelming amount of options. So if you know what you're looking for, you can just narrow it down here on this left hand column. Uh, for example, if you know the number of teeth or the pitch or the shaft diameter, you can just select it there. There's a few more other options there. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll just go down and pick something from this list. So how about this uh, 28 uh, tooth gear? So we'll just click on it and we'll get this product detail box. Click on that and that will bring us to the gear details. What you'll want to do is scroll down until you get this little drop down box and make sure you select 3D step and then click save. And then that's going to import uh, this model into our workspace. We have the option to move it, rotate it. I'm just going to click OK to leave it as is. And notice that it did come in as a component. So at this point, we can treat it as if we modeled it ourselves. So let's say, for example, I really don't want this part here. I just want the bottom portion of the gear. Uh, I can click on it and hit delete. But notice I do get an error. So I'm not lying to you. I did find out that you kind of have to do things in the right order. So if I go in and click on this fillet, for example, and delete that first, now it allows me to come in and delete this object. Um, so if the, whenever there's a fillet or a chamfer, you usually want to delete that first. Uh, next, we'll turn this around and let's go ahead and delete this chamfer on this side. And I love the way this just cleans up nicely. So this hole, uh, let's say we want a whole different size hole. We, we don't really want this one. Again, you can just click on that face and hit delete and it's gone and it just cleans up. So you can scale this to make it thicker, smaller. Um, but let's go ahead and create a sketch on this face and we'll put our own circle in there. So notice that it did bring it in and put it right into the origin. So we can take advantage of that and create, for example, let's do a four millimeter circle there. And, you know, we'll go ahead and extrude that in. Let's say that's the shaft size we're going to be putting in here. So we'll go and extrude this all the way. Click OK. And there's our new hole. Uh, let's say we want some mounting holes in there. We can just go back to that sketch. Uh, we'll draw another hole here. Let's say make this one three millimeters and let's go ahead and uh, Go ahead and constrain that to the center here and we'll bring that down. You can dimension it, but I'm just going to place it here just for uh, a Quick demonstration. So we'll do a circular pattern of this. Let's say we want four mounting holes select our center and Give that one more for quantity uh, click OK, stop sketch, bring back that sketch so we can see it. And we can just select these and go ahead and extrude them in to have our mounting holes. 
So distance all and click OK. So you quickly see how you can just come in, start with a gear, and just modify it to make it what you want it to be. Uh, so a lot more we can do with this and I do go into a lot more detail in my fidget spinners course where the last design we do is a geared spinner where we have uh, four gears that all mesh together and rotate and I basically this is the procedure that I take but I do go into a lot more detail in that course I just wanted to give you a quick little taste in this uh, tutorial to show you uh, you know all the options or show you what's what's available and what you can do so uh, all right I hope you enjoyed this I'll actually show you one more thing I just can't help myself so let's say we want to copy this we'll go right click uh, move copy and we'll change this from face to bodies uh, we'll go ahead and position our uh, point there um, We'll go and create, make sure to choose create copy and we'll go ahead and move this over and now we can go ahead and mesh two gears together and you'll want to specifically know what that pitch diameter is to get a perfect mesh um, but we can just kind of eyeball this for now and, and for example do something like that and now we can you know go ahead and draw around this to make some sort of a uh, gear train you know that we want so uh, just wanted to show you a quick way to go ahead and copy the gear and mesh them together let me know what you think and if you have any questions leave it on the comments below i'll leave a link in the descriptions to my video courses and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this